r slash pro revenge. Got a foreign exchange student sent home to our own country for relentlessly bullying my sister. My sister was bullied relentlessly in high school for something she had literally zero control over, a certain part of her anatomy. Without going into detail, she felt terrible about it, and it more or less ruined her life as an insecure 15 year old girl. The girl responsible for most of the cruel bullying, and the one who gave her a particularly cruel nickname related to her physical issue, was called Nadia. Nadia was a foreign exchange student at our school. Nadia was beautiful, she was cruel, and she didn't give any fucks about anyone but herself. I wasn't Miss Popularity myself, but I had to protect my sister from having her life ruined, and I felt a very strong urge to get back at her tormentors. They say to kill a dragon with many heads, you got to cut off the main head. So that's what I did. I learned that the father of Nadia was very conservative. Her whole family back home was. So I started spreading rumours about her being very promiscuous and ensure these rumours reached the family she was staying with. This apparently caused her some trouble, but I wasn't done. I threw a party one night when my parents were gone. I invited Nadia, who gladly came as I was a cooler, older girl, somehow, and she never said no to a chance to get hammered. Because, yes, there was a lot of liquor. I made sure of that. Took pictures of everyone drinking and having fun. That same night when everyone left, I put it on my Facebook. Tagged Nadia on it. She was my Facebook friend. She had this option turned on where everything she is tagged in is automatically added on her timeline. So a picture of her, shit faced drunk and very skimply dressed, made its way to her page. Because of it being the middle of the night, she must not have noticed until the next day in the morning, so it stayed on for hours. But due to her parents' time zone being vastly different, I was sure they would see it before she had a chance to take it down. They did. I wasn't there to see the fallout, obviously, but she was gone the next week from school and flown back to her home country. Apparently her parents had to save her from being corrupted or something. So she was gone. And my sister saved from ridicule as word of my involvement spread. And let's just say people didn't really want to mess with her after seeing how far I was willing to go to protect my little sister.